First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, we want to bring you up to date with the latest on Andrea, the first tropical storm of the season. As mentioned, you can see it curling up here, very well defined in the Gulf of Mexico is where the center of that storm is. Winds about 39, 40 miles per hour. So it's only just barely tropical storm strength. Occasionally some wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. The problem that we're seeing right now, the outer bands as it moves through the Miami Palm Beach area is producing uh, what could be some tornadoes. In fact, a tornado warning right now for the Palm Beach area in the eastern coast of Florida. And as you can see, copious amounts of rain. That's going to be the big thing with uh, Andrea as it continues to track on through the Big Bend area, through Jacksonville, and then on through southeastern Georgia, through Savannah, and then through the Carolinas over the next few days. This is not poised to become a hurricane or strengthen anymore. It's got a lot of things, uh, a lot of dry air cutting off the western edge of this storm, so it's not forecast to develop into anything stronger than just a tropical storm. Back here at home, we go to First Alert Live Doppler Radar. We've had our own heavy rains this morning. In fact, flooding rains over Muhlenberg County. That has been the trouble spot this morning. As the heavy rains continue to weaken as they move off to the east, our concern is that there's a lot of street flooding and problems there in the uh, uh, from Drakesboro to Greenville especially, and then further south. You can see the rains pushing out here. Anywhere from 181 to 431 to 70, 176. This is where we're finding a lot of uh, ponding of water on the roadways and even some temporary closures of roadways. So you need to be careful anywhere in Muhlenberg County as the waters Still going to take another hour or two to recede, but the good news is the heavy rains are over for you there, so you should not have any additional flooding from what you've seen this morning. As we check some rainfall amounts here, and this is uh, going back to our uh, precipitation totals from the Mesonet sites, 1.41, that's at the Mesonet site in Greenville, which is at the, uh, the Ford Center, so that's what they measured there, but around there, Doppler radar estimates uh, estimates could be up to five inches of rain in some spots there this morning. While we picked up only 15 hundredths of an inch of rain in Bowling Green, temperatures mid to upper 60s across south central Kentucky. Lake Malone, that's out near the Greenville area. You'll see more shower opportunities today. Greenville 79, Russellville 79, maybe 80 for Elton, 81 for Hopkinsville today. By the way, the Powerball jackpot, no winner last night. So the Saturday night jackpot estimated to be at $60 million. Mega Millions estimated to be at $14 million. The clouds and the showers bringing down the pollen count, the ozone and the molds in the low category, even the UV index moderate today thanks to the cloud cover. But I do think we could see some breaks of sun a little bit later on today through the clouds. 66 degrees currently with a southwest wind at 7 miles per hour. Checking some of the weather cams, the airport's 68 degrees. Look at the clouds. There's some sun trying to break through now. Munfordville, cloudy, 67 degrees there. Jamestown Marina, as you're still getting some rain, 65 degrees. Glasgow is cloudy and a current temperature at 68. At the Bowling Green Airport, it's 68 now with 60s and 50s to the north, muggy 70s to the south. With all that muggy air, a very tropical-like air mass that has nothing to do with Andrea, but this is a whole different system that may keep generating showers and thunderstorms even into the afternoon. As a front slowly makes its way across the area, look for pockets of heavier rain and thunderstorms. Even though we're going to taper things off here for a few hours, uh, could see, uh, we could see some generation of showers, and I do expect that this afternoon and into this evening. Even tomorrow, there could be enough of a layer of moisture here behind that slow-moving front to spark a shower or thunderstorm, but it's not going to rain all day tomorrow. In fact, the rain chances will begin to go down, and by Saturday, things are looking good, finally. 81 here, showers and a few thunderstorms, any place, any time for today. Chance of a shower or a thunderstorm tonight, 66. Tomorrow, we'll make it up to 79 with a shower chance, but otherwise partly sunny. Sunny and 80 on Saturday, a nice day there. Even most of Sunday should be nice and warmer. With a high of 87, a late day shower there possible. With a scattered shower chance Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, very summer like pattern, mostly afternoon and early evening variety of showers.